Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to show you how to download the Windows 10 or 11 Insider ISO files, which you can burn to run the operating system. So the biggest thing in this, of course, is Windows 11. People are looking to get it. It's not too hard to do. We're going to do these steps. I'm going to take you step by step, and you're going to have to wait about a half hour for it to download. So here we go. Look in the video description or at the top right corner over here somewhere. And if there's an I there, if you click that, click again, it takes you to this page. Or type in uupdump.net in your web browser. Now, you got to kind of know what you're getting here. As you can see, there's a list here. Dev channel, server, 21H1, 20H2, some of the more recent builds that you can select. Or look down here. So for Windows 11, we're going to only be able to, at the time of this video to do the latest dev channel build. Right here. Windows 10 while it's still being released in insider form, can probably use any one of these three. So for Windows 11, which we're going to use for this example, we're going to select the dev channel. As you can see, x64, I believe, that's right, x86, there is no 32-bit version of Windows 11. So x64, as you can see, once again, at the time of this video, there's only one release of Windows 11, so we'll go ahead and click that. Keep this rolling here in the background with us. So, check your language. Click Next. Now you can choose your edition. So unless you want to have the option of downloading Home, N, Pro, Pro, N, Team, just pick what you want to use. So in this case, if you're not sure, I would use Windows Pro. Home is an option, but if you're not sure, go with Pro. Once you've got that done, you can click next again and you have a few other options here don't pay too much attention there's a lot of stuff here most of it's just information what you're looking to do is probably include updates and we're looking to download and convert to an ISO right there so make sure that box is checked and make sure that box is checked now we click create download package you see it downloading over here. When it's done, you want to open the file. And we want to extract everything. Let's make sure we're in downloads or somewhere you can find it. That's up to you. Click extract. It'll show you the files when it's done. And there you go. So what we're looking for is UUP underscore download underscore windows. It actually, if you can see extensions, it's dot CMD. Right click. Run as administrator. Click more info if you get this and click run anyway. Click yes. And there's your command prompt. So it's going to start out with a black screen in the background, as we'll show you here. You can actually close this page now. Here's everything we've done so far. There's your black screen. Now what's going to happen next is we're going to wait for a blue screen. So Basically, the black screen, I think it's downloading, and I think the blue screen is extracting and building and continuing to download everything. So let's take a look here. That's still going. And it's only like a 5 meg download just to get the basic, to get you started. However, this is where you're going to need some time. You can see all the different sizes it's downloading. So this will switch over shortly to a blue screen, and once it does that, we're going to be sitting here for probably a half an hour. Not like you and me. I'm going to hit pause and come back in about a half an hour just so you can see what happens from here it's not too tough but let's jump ahead anyway and get this out of the way if you're curious so eventually you're gonna see all this and eventually you will see done right there and that allows you to press zero to exit or click on the X in the top right corner when it's done and I will show you this briefly before we leave after it's completed you'll look for the ISO it'll be named differently depending on what you're doing just like that and then you can burn that to a thumb drive or whatever you want it's probably got to be a thumb drive nowadays you don't really have a lot of choices so we'll try and set this here for a minute and maybe I'll hit pause so this hits the blue screen and then pause again until it's completed so we will be right back and there it goes switch to the blue screen and you're going to see a bunch of stuff like this, and I'm, it's going to go for a while, so figure 
another half an hour as I mentioned ballpark so this is a great time if you're sitting here at this blue screen now go ahead and walk away and don't come back for at least 20 minutes because or you can put it in the background just pretend it's not there we're going to walk away and we'll check back in with you as soon as this is done to finish this up anywho a little time's gone by went to the store had some Reese's peanut butter cups fun stuff but we're still going but just to kind of show you what you're looking at no big deal these are some of the lines that you see going through creating setup media layout creating install dot whim mounting the image DISM gets started which is deployment imaging service and management tool and if you want when you if you're bored if you start your file explorer up and go to your downloads you will see ISO folder and if you look at that if you've ever seen an extracted setup or a DVD or an ISO extracted that's what you see the setup all this will become a nice ISO when it's done and this folder will be gone so there you have it all right I'm gonna hit pause again and then we're gonna come back and hopefully it'll be done so another thing to watch out for another reason I jump back in it's been sitting here for quite a bit there it goes it just moved I mean it's been sitting here for at least five minutes right here so we're close to the end now it does the saving image I don't know if I saved it in here yeah so it's right up above here it's getting close to the end now shouldn't be more than less than five minutes probably at this point and just wanted to warn you when you see something like this and it pauses and you don't see anything going don't close it just kind of chill out for a little bit it should be okay all right we'll be right back all right we're back again we're almost getting there usually when you get to the creating ISO scene we're almost there I've been gone again for another 10 minutes plus so once again I can't say it enough be patient and as you can see we are writing right right here you can see this is my screenshot in the tutorial which means we're right to the end hopefully sometimes it'll sit at 97 percent for an hour here we go and you can see the file name which we're going to look for it's removing the temporary files which means it's removing the ISO folder I showed you earlier stuff like that and it might already be there now since it's cleaning up let's take a look downloads it is done and there's your ISO right there you can spot it by the size or by running your mouse over it or by making enough room on the screen to see the name so basically what you could do is you could take this out now for example move it to downloads and once you've done all that you can get rid of the downloaded file and we should close the command prompt out first you can press zero to exit or click on the X right here I'll just press zero and that's gone make sure that's doesn't stop me from deleting it delete that's gone and all you have left is your ISO so I gotta do now is get your favorite utility to burn the ISO to your thumb drive and you are off to the races there you have it thanks for sitting through it trust me it was a lot longer than it was, than it was watching it's where eight minutes was one of my longest videos here on major geeks but it was probably 45 minutes to do this so keep that in mind but it's a legit option to grab a Windows Insider ISO instead of some of the other methods, the, the, the methods out there. There you have it. As always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click subscribe, click like if we helped you out, and you can find a donation link. You can find our Major Geeks right here, for example, if we helped you out and you have an extra buck or two to spare. No big deal. I don't want to be a beggar. You know what I'm saying? And there you have it. See ya.